here we are back at the airplane and we're getting stuff out of it because why? We have no turbo power. <laughs> the doohickey? Uh, is that an aeronautical term? Yeah. We're here in uh, Brigham City, Utah. First thing that we got to do when we get in here is eat. eat. And that's really important. Then yeah, we'll go play with the airplane. Yeah. So we got our priorities straight, yep. don't we? That's important, priorities. I'm Eric Reese. I sell real estate for a living, but I fly and instruct in the Aerostar for fun. Join us on our travel and training adventures in the world's fastest light piston twin. See what it's like to be force fed with a fire hose in the Aerostar Superstar 700, fastest light piston twin on the planet. When Tim Pope takes the controls for the first time, landings, takeoffs, steep turns, and a whole bunch of fun stuff. Master should have come on at the same time that's when the left and right alternators go on. Okay, then keep coming across and lights as necessary. So a beacon, which is where it says STB, the left side is beacon. There's a split switch. And the other one's strobe? And the other one's strobe, so remember it's alphabetical, beacon strobe. Okay. okay, and that's all you need to have on to, to let people know we're going to start. And you keep coming across, you've already got the fuel on over here. And uh, let's check the cross feed light. Okay, that's on. I hear the two motors running, two motors running. Okay, the boost pump's off, and you would hear it if it wasn't. Mags are off, and they kind of come over here, make sure the uh, props are forward, throttles, and mixtures are closed. And then work my way on down. And I can set the trim. So for takeoff on the elevator, I'm just, and because that's not working quite right, I'm just going to go, um, and this is really hard to do, one, two, three, um, okay. up trim. Okay. And rudder trim, uh, that is right at neutral. Maybe it's just a tad, a little bit right rudder, which is great, so we don't need to worry about that. Pressurization set, bleed air. Um, your cabin doors uh, deflated and you're in the normal dump mode and the other bleed air is on here in the bright switch then come on up to the top flaps bright, really bright, bright switch yeah the bright switch so you can go that's the your bright switch is in a different place okay. um, this is okay. the electric pump and what's it through that's loose wants to stay on and uh, there was a uh, I think you've got a you may or may not have a brightness switch on these I do on mine and it's my bright switch is right here that's why I did that. It's out of, out of habit. So then come back up here. Uh, flaps are neutral at this point. Mags off. Boost pumps off. Fuel on. Cross feed. Back to on. This is where you check the voltage. Press mm -hmm. the button and check. Go ahead and press it. Oh, left. Right. Yep. And left and right won't do anything at this point. Uh, the the right uh, uh, hydraulic pump uh, shut off valve is open. Heater uh, defroster fan is closed. Breakers like you did, come on up. The aux radio master, you know, is off because the guard is down. That wasn't, I don't know whether that was on your checklist or not. Aux hydraulic is uh, uh, off at this point. And we'll come across. Um, these are the air conditioning and fan are off. Come on up here. You, this doesn't matter where you've got it right now, but it's set up for EGT or all on fuel flow. Fire test test up here um, and come all the way across and down. So that pretty much sets you up for um, the start. So now we can go to your, you can just flip that page all the way over and we can go to your engine start. Okay, another engine. Okay, so that's Ooh. on. Boost pumps go, boost pumps on. Don't worry about running the boost pump all the time. That's what they're designed for. So boost pump on, prime for um, five seconds. Might be short. Yeah, I think okay, just wait, right. wait, wait, wait. Your throttles are in the position for prime. On the checklist, it says pull them back <coughs> and then open them up just like I told you. Let's close the door.
pressures. Yep. Well into the green. Okay, and we're showing about 38. That's a little low for that being on. And let's go back to uh, off, and it shows 36. That's good. Okay, so then let's go to the next part of the checklist. So we've we've got the engine started. Engine started. The boost pumps are off. Okay. Before taxi and lights and avionics switches. The doohickey? Uh, Is that an aeronautical term? Yeah. Downwind runway 35, ready to. 26 November Alpha taxi in for 35. Now you don't need to have anything on the steering. Use differential braking and, and power. This thing's got to go away, I think. Yeah. <laughs> then we're going to line the road of the runway. Check the instruments, rotate just under 100, it looks like. Yeah, so the final flow is starting over here from left to right. Make sure everything's on. Make sure your lights is, are on as required. Hit your strobes. Traffic. Hit the landing lights, or one of them. Traffic. Come across, make sure your fuel's good. Pumps are on. Pumps. Come down here, this is set fine. Come down here, Traffic. make sure that the uh, inflate. Alpha on file. I, want, I want it on deflate. On inflate. Traffic. And then back up here, flaps are set, fuel's on, boost pump's on, and one Traffic. more time around here to the uh, ox hydraulic arm, and then over in the radio set. Now you're ready to Traffic. go. Okay. And one more thing, set your heading bug to the runway heading. Traffic. Which is 3-5. That's not the heading bug, that stays at 275. Traffic. Brigham City. 6 November Alpha is entering a 3-5 for your departure, straight out. Clear on the right? Alright. Well, when I start, I always start, not way back. Keep going. Just start with the yoke right about here, about halfway out, and that'll uh, help with the lightning the nose. Oh, it's left traffic. Hit it again. Yeah, you're out. All right, it's all clear to the right. Thank you. Nobody's on the runway. And I want you to get lined up at the center line and come to a complete stop with the wheel centered. Brigham City traffic experimental 169 or golf off at downwind runway 35, Brigham City. Okay, now we'll start with the yoke back just a little bit, not the, quite that far. And then we're gonna go ahead and advance the throttles, come all the way to 30 inches. That'll let you know that the turbos are spooling up. Okay. Okay, release the brakes. Keep going up with the power. That was pretty fast on the power. Keep going up, keep going up. It's like, the right one's at 42, and the left one's not quite there. Okay, so far so good. Air speed's alive. That was a lot early, God. You came off the ground at 80. Okay, there's 100 knots, positive rate of climb. Okay, so we have the... Positive rate of climb, gear up. 110 flaps up. So let's come back to uh, 37 inches. Balance them out and then 2400 RPMs and sink them.
I'll help you with this. To go direct Blida, it's already highlighted. We can click direct Blida, enter, enter. And it's going to tell me I got a new course at 260, so set the CDI to 260. No, not heading bug, CDI, the course deviation indicator. And that flies just like any other VOR at this point. Experimental 169 Golf Alpha, turning crosswind for runway 35 for touch and go. Let's go. Let's go to uh, give us some more altitude. Let's go to 10.5. Okay. All right. So we're burning about 17, 17 to side. Um, RPMs are a little bit high, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. That's close enough, and that's probably why you're going to see a little bit different fuel flow. But that's a pretty good. That's that's 34 gallons, 35 gallons an hour. All right. Let's. Uh, if hey. I wanted to go, oh, yeah, go ahead. I know, that's fine. We're going to just do air work out here. So so the next thing we're going to do is just take a look down. And out of 10,000 feet, there's another checklist. And this is in my checklist, which you're going to want to have so you don't miss it. So out of 10,000 feet, your landing lights are going to go off. If they aren't off already. Nope. Okay. And then you're going to you're going to check the pressurization to make sure it's about where we should be. So we have it set at about 5,000 feet. It is. We're not anywhere near full uh, pressurization because we're still pretty darn low. So that's fine. And we're not climbing. The cab is not climbing or descending. This has come on a couple times, and that's what it's supposed to do. Everything's looking good. Temperatures and pressures are nominal. I'm in good shape. It'll still the lights will still be all lit up, which is fine. So autopilot's off. So let's, uh, we're going to slow down a little bit. Let's throttle back to 20 inches of manifold pressure here. See if the cabin still holds at 20. Don't overshoot though, give it. All right, just trim, yes, yeah, it's going to climb a little bit, it'll stabilize. So uh, 20 inches and let's trim for level flight. Let's stay at 10.4. Usually they blew it up when you... Oh, there it went. Oh, no, you blew it way up. Back to correct it. That was a big delay reaction. Usually when you level the wings, it blew... Uh, I expected it to blow up, and it didn't until I tipped the wings. So I must have pulled back a little. looking pretty good. Notice how the speed bled off. And when we go into the 45 to 50 degree bank, um, one should try to maintain that 140, which is going to take some power. All right, let's roll into one to the left at 45 degrees bank, right hand on the throttle, because you're going to have to add throttle to maintain 140, most likely. Want to stay plus or minus 100 feet, plus or minus 10 knots. Little less correction on the pitch, because otherwise you're going to chase it all over the place. Pitch, pitch. Pitch, pitch. One more pitch. Remember, it takes quite a bit. You're going to be pulling uh, a G and a half at 45 degrees. That's about 40. I want to see 45 to 50. Uh, I was leveling it, trying to get it back up. Okay. Oh, you can pull. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll have to do a little trim. Yeah, my, arm, my, my, my arms hurt. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, now we're going to start pulling her back up. Just gentle mo motions. We'll go around one more time just for the fun of it, unless you want to turn. There you go around another time. Okay, we're going to 
absolutely. Use a backup. If you wrestle a backup, then I can get to porpoising. Exactly. Same thing with your uh, staying on uh, glide path and glide slope. It's very tiny movements and, and patience. Oops, I looked away for a minute. This is going to take some uh, practice and figuring, figuring out the power settings. And uh, as power bled off, I increased power. I That's playing with that pitch and. Uh, yeah, and you want to do that kind of by feel, and your eyes should be outside the airplane most of the time, so that you've got some little mark on the on the windshield. Yeah, that's, let's, uh, let's go back and reset. Okay. Push. So coming into the pattern, we want to slow it down a little bit. Power settings are fine. 25, 22 again. Let's go flaps 20. Down to 165. Okay. It'll stabilize fine. We're level. Let's make a uh, 90 degree turn left to 100 climbing. Just relax it a little bit, stop the climb, and then adjust no more than 100 feet a minute to correct. Otherwise, you're going to chase it all over the place. What I found myself doing with the uh, steep turn. Yeah. Way more than I'm doing now with that 100 foot. That was a lot of pitch up, but you're just kind of catching up. So, all right, level off, 10,000 feet. Let's uh, assume we're midfield downwind for runway 36, left left downwind for 36. Okay. So let's go ahead and get the uh, landing check. The first part of it, your pump's going into the pattern. Your pumps are going to be on. Fuel's on. Okay, pump is on. Fuel selectors, landing lights is required. Prop controls. Okay, we're, we're midfield downwind. Oh, we don't necessarily need to go full. No, your power setting's fine. You don't have to touch the power. So, midfield down when the gear's got to come down. Yep, checking speed, gear's good. And, co and coordinated, that's the other thing to make sure of. We got three into green. Just let it stabilize for a second. Okay, even with the numbers, you're going to go back to 20 inches of manifold pressure. Your props are going to go full forward. Manifold pressure's going to stay the same, and the mixtures are going to go full forward. And flaps 30. Close enough. Okay, at this point we're going to be getting our 500 foot a minute. Yeah, roughly, and it'll you know, shoot for one. Um, right now your speed's fine, so let's go to flaps 30. Ran full pressure back to about 16. Speed's 120. Okay. And it'll 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 bleed off a little bit. And this is where power's gonna make a difference. And it takes some time for the speed to bleed speed to bleed off bleed off. Yeah. Okay, let's make the left turn as if we're uh, turning our uh, base. Okay, heading uh zero nine zero. Yeah, the governors need to be adjusted too. I just changed that to uh, zero nine zero. Okay. Kind of the freeway down there, kind of sort of works. <laughs> that road. Okay, there's that's good. Okay, and you wanted one hundred and ten as our. Yeah, one hundred ten is good. Your speed's pretty darn good right here, and it should be trimmed. Um, you should always be able to let go of that yoke. All right, fields made, flaps full. Power is necessary, probably come back uh, um, to about uh, 14.
trim, trim, trim. And you were you needed to slow down, and you pitched down, which means speed up. So oh, I thought I was doing 110. You no, want? finally you're 100. Oh, well then I was I was in good shape. Yeah, you were already in good shape. So let's leave it at 15. See where see where that goes. Get it to 100. Trimmed. And then the and the pattern just happens a lot faster. I'm afraid of that. Okay, we're at 100. Okay, so at 100 and fields made. Slow it to uh, 95. Just with pitch. Right hand should always be on the throttle because you might need to be adjusting that. Just slow it to 95. Hold 95. All right, let's go around. Too fast on the power. Okay. Okay, flaps, gear, flaps. Gear, flaps. Has to be that quick. Look how much you sped up and you kept going down. We lost 200 feet in pitch. All right, let's come back to uh, economy climb again. Remember, the turbos will tend to overshoot if you push them that, that hard. About half that rate. They still need to come up smartly, but not that much. And make sure that you're checking over here that, so you don't overboost. So All right. Looks like the audio failed again.